as you can see here this is a very old Tonka truck like this is a very 1990s probably 80s Tonka truck and I had the idea to turn this Tonka truck into an RC car so from this it look now like this check this out now the whole idea came because of this I bought this to this is this uh, dump truck it's kind of like a more of a toy and as you can see it gets stuck everywhere so, so because I have this spare uh, red cut volcano chassis in here um, I figured let's let's do it so I'm I removed the wheels um, and try to remove these two uh, uh, screws in here just to make sure that I put a aluminum uh, base in here line um, I put some screws and hinges to make the front part of the truck um, to move back and forth as you can see in this video so that way I can move it back and forward and because of this then in this area I can hide the batteries and cables and all this uh, good stuff that are going to be needed for of course the uh, RC truck as you can see here um, this is the battery holder I'm going to put it in this area uh, the truck kind of look like this with this specific wheels and the chassis so you can see it's uh, empty here and I'm going to start putting all the batteries and electronics inside in the back part it would look like that I need to fix uh, the actual chassis into the truck and we will see it like this and of course uh, all this area will be part of the transition to uh, make sure that I can move that dump uh, part uh, up and down in order to do that we would need an actuator so I started to um, you know work with in this case uh, this is just a copper pipe and try to make sure how I, I make this project to work and of course an actuator is the way to go the only problem that I need is how do I put that actuator so this is the actuator that I actually got later I will put it in the description and you know how you can actually find it as you can see here it's going up and at some point it would stop because this actuator is like a three inch actuator so I really need a bigger one but if I use a bigger one then it would never uh, close so I try to move it and play with it the position of it but um, really uh, didn't work um, I bought a bigger actuator but like I said too big then it would never be completely close so what I did was I put it on the um, bottom part of the uh, car so I have to build up these uh, brackets here with aluminum put it with screw and in the bottom it would totally look like this and then the actuator I put the actuator there with screws and then of course it would work um, better like this so you can see here uh, when I turn it on it goes the dump part goes completely up and of course completely down so this for me it works perfectly fine now for all the electronics of so the electric car parts here is the actuator that I got it's a three inch actuator I tried the four the six and another different brand but didn't work that much as this one this is the remote to connect the actuator and actually remotely can go up and down and of course this is the cage uh, the case for the uh, batteries um, in this case be aware of the voltage of your actuators because in, in this case I made a mistake and I bought this one for eight batteries and I needed 10 batteries in order to get 12 volts out of the um, uh, batteries so in this case I have to add two more um, of the batteries um, all the welding and attachments are just as simple as you can see here you can use connectors or not um, the LED lights that I use are these um, and normally you use this for RC cars and of course the uh, rotating flashing police light I use this one there's different colors so as you can see in here after the 10 um, batteries it gives me 12 volts but for the LED lights I don't need uh, 12 volts I only need about um, four and a half to six 
So I have to create a jumper here uh, using only four batteries in order to give enough power for the LED. And of course, because you don't want to burn them with 12 volt. For the front part, I just drill a couple of holes in here just to try to put it uh, together with the, you know, to, to install the LED lights. And the same thing in the back part. Um, all the cables were glued with just um, like warm glue. So you can see here, this is completely on. So the lights in the front with a switch. So I can actually turn on and off um, independently from the actual electronics from the actuator. And of course it would have a remote for the actuator. So as you can see here, now it's everything almost done with the lights and everything. So in terms of all the parts that are related to the RC car, everything is in the chassis. So there's two independent RC controls, one for the actuator and of course one for the remote control. In this case, the Red Cat Volcano. Now I have a problem is the suspension. This uh, Tonka trucks are heavy. So in this case, I cannot have suspension. So what I did was just a piece of uh, uh, wood that way it doesn't go up and down and can actually hold the, uh, in this case, the body of the Tonka truck. So it would look like this. I just eventually paint it black and it can actually hold, um, you know, the actual uh, body at the same time with dirt. So it started to look like this. This is uh, the project almost done. I wanted to cover a little bit, you know, the, part, the back part. Uh, so I ended up cutting this piece of plastic painted uh, black in order to install the light. And it looked like this. I had a problem. When I run it back and forward, it didn't turn because I needed a very heavy uh, servo. So I bought this 30 kg servo. And in this case, this servo can definitely move um, side to side just because it is a very strong um, servo. Also, I wanted to do a gas tank, so I cut a piece of uh, PVC, also plastic uh, sides on the, uh, and I put glue it on the side and make the actual gas tank like, look like this. So this is the final product. Um, so now I just only need to test it to see what happened.